Hey everyone, welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we'll be checking out the Joker Batman Imposter Version Artisan Edition 6 scale figure by Hot Toys from the Dark Knight Trilogy Collection. The box's slipcover introduces some chaos to your first impressions with red graphical elements overlaying a splatter pattern of the Joker's signature colors of purple and green. And sliding that slipcover off reveals a smattering of Joker's favorite phrases splashed across a bright green box. That box can be parted to reveal a pair of windows cut into the middle showcasing not only the bulk of the accessories on the right, but also an isolated window onto the brilliant Artisan Edition portrait. Opening that box, you'll find the Joker Imposter version figure as well as the isolated portrait along with an assortment of accessories at rest in a single plastic tray. Here's absolutely everything that comes with the Joker Imposter version figure, which you can see standing there in the center on top of a thematic display base. Off to the right is a pistol, a submachine gun, a string of hand grenades, and a shotgun. Over on the left is a sealed deck of cards, a trio of batarangs, and an assortment of swap out hands. The Joker Imposter version figure stands just over 12 inches in overall height and comes clad in a bastardized mockery of Batman's costume from The Dark Knight. The portrait features an insane likeness to that of Heath Ledger in his role as Joker. The completely reimagined sculpt is smeared with a hasty layer of white paint through which the underlying flesh tones peak at the portrait's wrinkles and hairline, and the lips and scars are accented by a subtle red. The portrait's hair consists of implanted woolen fibers, painstakingly curled and styled to create a downscaled recreation of Ledger's very own on-screen locks. The detailed brown eyes leer out from blackened sockets, and each eye is independently articulated, allowing Joker's gaze to be directed in whichever way best suits your display. The Batsuit's black base layer still features every armored component seen in the on-screen costume, but the familiar carbon fiber look is now hidden by a purple base layer, overlaid by mad splashes of green and with the bat symbol itself sloppily sprayed with blood red. Those blood red splashes continue down the suit in alternating patterns of splatters and ha ha ha's, and the cape of the Batsuit is dyed purple and irreverently shredded. That cape can now serve as the carrier for Joker's booby trap of hand grenades, all of which are tied together to a web of strings, ending in a single loop which can be wrapped around Joker's finger. Each of the included firearms can be wielded using the included swap out hands, and the batarangs and playing cards can be held in the hands or scattered along the base. The Joker portrait rests on a ball jointed neck. It can look in all directions, as well as lean a bit to either side. The shoulders will shrug, dip, press, and row, and they'll allow the arms to elevate laterally nearly 90 degrees. The arms will also raise to the front nearly 90 degrees, and nearly 90 degrees to the back. The double jointed elbows will bend the arms to about 160 degrees, and a pivot joint above the bicep will allow the arms to rotate there. The torso will crunch to the front, extend to the rear, and lean a bit to either side. And it will also pivot nicely at the waist. The legs will lift laterally about 45 degrees. They'll also kick out to the front about 30 degrees and about 10 degrees to the back. The knees will bend more than 90 degrees and a pivot joint in the thigh will provide some rotation. The feet will twist at the ankles and they'll also extend a bit in every direction. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Joker Batman Imposter Version Artisan Edition 6 scale figure by Hot Toys from the Dark Knight Trilogy Collection. For more information about this figure, or to check out the wide assortment of Batman related collectibles available from Hot Toys, follow the link below. Thank you for watching our video, and as always, don't forget to let your geek sideshow.